Hey everyone, it's Chris with Hot Shots here, and I want to thank you so much for joining me for another great episode of Hot Shots TV. And today's episode is going to be all new. I know you guys love these K-Cup brewers, these single brewers, and I got a perfect one to test today. This guy is brand new, called Hayden. I uh, just picked this up with my own cash at uh, Target, and so I know it's out now. They got a lot of different fun colors, but let's see what this guy is all about. Let's see if it can brew good coffee, how good the coffee uh, in a K-cup and with regular brew. So don't go anywhere, stay right there. We'll be right back. All right guys, and welcome back. So we are gonna review this product here called Hayden. It's a single brew coffee brewer. And uh, as you know, we love to do these testings on these things of these single serve uh, brewers. I've done some with the Walmart brands, the Mainstay brands, and a few other ones, uh, even including the K-Cup brand Keurig. And uh, so let's see what this one's all about. It does do K-Cup and it does do a single brew with ground coffee. And so we're gonna test it out and see what it's all about. See if it's worth your penny. Now, just to be clear, I paid with this on my own dime. Uh, no one emailed me, called me, or anything about this brand from this manufacturer or anything. So this is a purely unbiased uh, review from me, as much as unbiased as I can be, uh, as far as being with this brand. Um, and so anyways, um, let's go ahead and let's start opening this up and find out what this product is all about. So we're gonna just start by actually going over the product first and just telling you what it says on the outside. Now this brand from what it looks like was established in 1958 in the UK, uh, in England. So it's, um, it's an English brand. Um, I've never heard of this brand before. Maybe you guys have, if you have, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Uh, and uh, let me know what you think of all their products. It looks like they do some tea kettles, teapots, toasters, you know, kind of the whole gambit. Nowadays, a lot of these companies do all kinds of kitchen appliances, not just coffee. Uh, but let's get into it. So it says coffee machine, single serve. It does a single serve and ground coffee. It's space saving because it's narrow. As you know, a lot of these single serve brewers are pretty narrow. Um, even the, the Keurig, pretty, pretty much all the ones I've reviewed thus far are kind of a narrow freestanding tower looking device, uh, which is great. Fast brewing, we're gonna test that out. We're gonna see how fast it actually does brew. And then travel mug friendly. And what that means is that typically the slot that you put your coffee on is either removable or raises and lowers uh, so that you can actually put a larger cup size in there like a 16 ounce or something bigger than that. Um, two in one can be used with single serve and K cup pod plus ground coffee. So it says that for household use only. So don't go out doing events with this guy uh, or going out camping. I guess they don't want you to do that either. Um, so it says two settings for different cup sizes. Okay, so this one's not 16 ounce. This only goes from a minimum of six ounces to 14 ounces. So, you know, travel cup size here in America is about 16 ounce. I don't know what they do in the UK, but uh, if you're English or you know something that I don't, let me know. Uh, maybe that's a travel size for the UK. Uh, adjustable nozzle makes space for 14 ounce size travel cup. Uh, water compartment with capacity indicators. Okay. Um, flashing power button indicates brew process. So the other ones, I think the Keurig uh, that we've tested didn't have any fancy buttons. It might've had some lights on it, but typically when you push the button to start it, it's gonna blink or it's gonna tell you that it's starting to brew, which is actually very helpful because if not, you're gonna push the button, you're gonna go do something else, you're gonna come back and you're not gonna have coffee made. Uh, and that's something important. Uh, two in one attachments for single serve pods and ground coffee. So this looks like it comes with everything you need, which is kind of nice. So uh, the Keurig uh, model that we tested before had the same thing. The Mainstays model had the same thing, I think. Um, I'm not sure if they had the Keurig, obviously you have to buy another attachment if you wanna do your own ground coffee. This one's included from what it sounds like, so that's pretty cool. Um, removable drip grill for easy cleaning. A lot of this stuff is standard. It says one year warranty guarantee. Um, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's all I can see here. So let's open this guy up. I'm gonna stand up here, make it a little bit easier for you guys to see me. 
I, I love the packaging. And by the way, this model comes in, from what I can tell, it comes in white, black. The black, I believe, has kind of a gold or gold rose trim uh, where the silver is. And then this beautiful blue here, um, which we're gonna showcase today. And remember, you can get this at Target. That's where I purchased this at. I'm sure it's gonna be coming out at other department stores perhaps, so just be on the lookout. I don't have really any other information than that. I would check out their website. It's HaydenUSA.com if you're interested in that. Obviously it comes with a little manual here, uh, an instruction manual. So this is probably just their products, customer service, yeah. Just their product stuff, yeah. So, and then they have an instructional manual. Let's see here. Obviously, just the packaging. Let's take this guy out. Wow. This is actually much smaller, and that's pretty much it that's in the packaging. So let's get rid of that guy. Um, this is fairly small, to be honest. Um, it's not, I mean, it's probably three to four inches smaller than all the other ones I've kind of tested. Um, interesting. This is all your accessories, I'm assuming that's in here, or at least one of your other accessories. So yeah, so this opens up, this looks like, yep. There's for your drip coffee, which we're gonna test. I got some coffee today we're gonna test in here. And then, so this is for your drip coffee or grounds. And then there should be, yep. So there's just an area there for a K cup. You just drop your K cup in, has the needle on top. Looks like it has just a single uh, needle to puncture the top and then, uh, and then away you go. Uh, not much to this thing. I mean, obviously it's all taped up. Let's remove some of this tape here. Make sure nothing's being held together by tape. That'd be embarrassing. Um, but yeah, it looks like it's a pretty simple, I mean, nothing fancy here. Um, it's a nice, beautiful blue. Uh, the blue is all plastic from what I can tell. Uh, it's kind of a matte finish blue plastic. Uh, it's, I don't want to say it's not as nice as what I saw, but it's it's pretty much like a, just a, a blue plastic. Uh, pretty much this whole thing is plastic. Nothing really metal here. Um, yeah, even the push down uh, is plastic. So you can see here, let me show you guys. So even this portion, all this is plastic. So. You know, it's kind of probably look nice on your countertop, but you know, as far as the finish lasts and all that, who knows? Uh, I haven't had any issues with mine, but you know, when you get into these other colors, like like besides black and white, black uh, wears pretty well, but uh, you might start seeing some wear even on the buttons and stuff of something like this. Nice little button here, lifts up pretty easily. Drop in your K cup or what have you, plug it in. Drip trays removable. Doesn't look like this might be removable, but it, it came with it on. So I'm not gonna remove that, but standard drip tray. And then it looks like it holds up to about 14 ounces of water max. So if you're brewing this thing, just know you're not gonna get that 16 ounce cup under there. You could, um, and we could see what a 16 ounce, I'm sure a 16 ounce would fit under here, but you're not gonna probably get 16 ounces of water. You're gonna have a 14 ounce brew, which is kind of fine. You're filling up a 16 ounce cup, you're not filling it to the top. So uh, anyways, so that gives you a little bit of idea there. Let's plug this in, let's start testing it, and I'll give you a good review of what the coffee is like coming out of it, and let's see if it's worth um, what the cost was. Now, I will tell you, I bought this for around I want to say around $70, something like that. Um, I could be wrong. I have to go back and look at the receipt, but it's probably somewhere around there. So just think about that too. This is going to be probably uh, borderline $50, $70, I don't know, something like that. Um, it's probably worth the price of what it is but it might be on a little bit higher side than some of the other competitors and things that we tested. Uh, the Mainstays does a, a great job. We compared it with the K-Cup. I think that one was around 20 or $30 for a little K-Cup brewer. So, um, so yeah, so let me plug this in. We're gonna start brewing it and I'll be right back. So let's test the Hayden unit, shall we? So I actually put out uh, the Mainstays brewer from Walmart just to compare in height. Uh, doesn't look like it's a huge difference as I thought. I thought it was gonna be a bigger difference just from this guy just seems so slim and compact, but it is a little bit shorter 
And as far as width, it's not as bulky or thick, <laughs> if that makes sense. So it's, it's just a slim unit. Uh, and I'm going to say that it's probably along lines of a Keurig, if not uh, the Keurig unit that we did, the single brew unit, unit that we ch tested. Um, it's probably along the same lines as that, if not maybe a little bit um, thinner or a uh, little bit smaller. So just keep that in mind as well. I also put out uh, 16 ounce cups here just to give you an idea. So how you would do that is you bring this down if you're brewing something like a mug or 12 ounce or smaller or something like that. But obviously then you can't get this guy in. So all these things have some kind of way of adjusting. This unit itself, you could remove this and add some height here, and then you can brew like that. Um, but they don't really want you to do that, obviously. Uh, but other units, I think the mainstay unit is kind of like that. You take out something with the tray. This actually drops down, so you can lower it, raise it. Um, you would raise it, obviously, if you want to put up to a 14, but it will hold a 16 ounce, uh, as far as I can tell. There's this unit, or this uh, 16 ounce cup I have here. Uh, and then also, which I recommend if you haven't been to our store yet, um, on this side, go to Shop Hot Shots and we're carrying the Fellow products as well. So if you're interested in Fellow, it's one of my favorite brands. They have a really, one of the best uh, insulated mugs uh, and we'll be doing a review on some of this stuff down the road. But uh, the Carter mug that they have is really great for an insulated cup. This is kind of my go-to. Uh, it doesn't spill or anything like that. Um, but it just kind of fits in there too. So if you have a mug that you like to travel with and all that, I would say safely that this unit is probably going to do just fine for you on that regards as well. So I have our water already in here uh, for the first brew. I'm going to start with a K cup. Obviously we're going to do something Italian. Uh, this is Illy, uh, just their classic uh, Arabica Columbia coffee. So let's taste that. We're going to put it in here. Uh, I also already, did kind of a, a, a pre-brew with just hot water, or just water, I should say, uh, and just running water through the system. It says to do that twice before you get started. Obviously, I would do that with any machine that you just take out of a box, run water through it a couple of times. Just who knows what happens in transport and how these things are packed and where they're manufactured. You know, you just want to make sure that they're clean and, uh, and water pretty much does that for you. You don't need to do soap or anything else. Um, this unit, like I said, goes up to 14 max. It says don't overflow it with above 14. And there's like a little stair stepper in there. I do like how open this is for the reservoir compared to the mainstays and some of these other ones. This you can literally pour right in and it has kind of a nice splash guard that's pretty big inside the reservoir unit as well, which makes it kind of nice just to, you know, it's kind of being picky, but you know, sometimes when they have these such narrow reservoirs, you're trying to get water in there without splashing it. And half the time these things are under your counter, which also has uh, some kind of storage or cabinet above it. And you can never get water your hand in there without making it spill everywhere. And if you're like me, you know what I'm talking about. So let's put this down. All you gotta do is just push down, it snaps into place. And uh, I'm gonna get one of our cups here and I'm just gonna hit start brew. Uh, like I said, this has about uh, 10 ounces of water in it. So it should brew a 10 ounce cup or something close to that. Uh, I also am gonna do ground coffee and uh, just picked up this since Valentine's Day is right on the horizon here. Uh, we have a dark roast strawberry. So we're gonna see how that tastes as well. Chocolate covered strawberry, I should say. Um, so hang tight, this is gonna brew and I will be right back. All right, guys, we have our first set of this brew starting here. It's kind of interesting. It starts out real slow and then it starts brewing. So, which is kind of a good sign. It saturates all that coffee. That's what you want. Looks great so far. Right about two minutes, almost exactly, I think. Um, that to me seems like a pretty fast brew. Um, and you can hear it, makes a little bit of noise, doesn't make a lot of noise, uh, but it does make a, a little bit of noise that you would hear inside the unit itself. But doing a great job, as we can tell so far. Mm -hmm. 
So I put 10 ounces of water in there. It looks like it's going over 10 ounces, to be honest. Um, and I noticed this when I did the other thing where I just did the water. And we'll, we'll try it again here just to confirm that. Uh, and that might be a con, because uh, if you're putting in 10 ounces of water, that's what you want it to brew. And if this thing's not accurate in doing that, that might be one thing. I don't want to say that and confirm that, but let's let's confirm that together here shortly. Um, Cause this, this is like a 12 ounce cup, um, but let's, let's try it. Actually, before I try it, we need to test the heat. We want to see what this thing's brewing at. So in the cup, I preheated these cups, but it's uh, 165 in the cup. So, you know, going through the coffee and all that process, uh, I would expect it to be a little bit hotter, to be honest. You want it, typically when you're brewing coffee and stuff, you want it close to like 190, 200, um, in my opinion. That's good. Not a lot of grounds. Um, really no grounds at all that I can tell um, that are kicking up here. Like I said, I preheated these, but still dropped down a little bit there as well, 163. 165 is plenty hot. That's uh, latte hot. I mean, most of your drinks that you want, even when you're doing milk, you're not gonna go be beyond 160, 165. Um, but for coffee, typically you want a little bit hotter because you're gonna typically grab from here and you're gonna go somewhere else and then sit down and enjoy. But it's plenty hot. And it brews a good cup. So, you know, so as far as the K-cup brewing, it does a great job. Let's move on to the next one. Now, I gotta figure out how this works, so let's learn this together. Basically, it looks like this whole unit can come out, okay, K-cup and all, which is kind of nice. And then this unit would then go in here. And it looks like there's a big tab, like, so you can see this kind of tab on the back here, matches this tab here, so probably what we should do first is open this guy up. Let's open up our coffee real quick. Okay, and this coffee, by the way, this Dunkin' Donuts, smells really good. I can smell the strawberries in there, so I'm really excited about this one. This one as well, you can get this at Target, uh, probably any of your local grocery stores, uh, but this is the Dunkin' Donuts Chocolate Covered Strawberry. All right, now, I'm gonna brew 10 ounces. I like my coffee a little strong. There is a max line in here, which so I'm gonna fill it to that. Let's just see how it tastes. You know, I'm gonna fill it pretty much to the max line here because I like a bold coffee. I'm sure most of my viewers here like a bold coffee as well. Okay, these things, I hate these things. So, ah, okay, I'm gonna put that there. Okay, so just that, like that, cover it, close it. I think it's closed there. All right, that's nice, closed. Okay, let's open this guy up. I'm gonna drop it in. Now, the real question here is when we brew this guy, we wanna make sure and the nice thing too, I just hit that button by accident, it automatically stops. So let's go back here. I'm gonna brew this and I'm gonna tell you what I was talking about there just a second ago. Let's get this up to 10 ounces. That's eight, 10, barely 10. Okay, let's see what that brews like. Um, okay, real quick, what I was gonna mention with the application, you know, the problem with these like the Keurig applicators where you put the coffee in and close it and try to seal it and all that, a lot of times the grounds come out. The K-Cup one that you can buy at the store, or actually the, I think it came with my K-Cup brewer, um, I hate it because when you try to put the coffee in there, you put the coffee in there, you twist it and lock it. And everyone I talk to with these kind of adapters that you use to do ground coffee and these things, they basically just explode. And then you got grounds and everything in your coffee, and then you gotta do it all over again. Um, so none of them I've really liked. This one comes with this unit. I like how it matches this one. It's, it's big and it's like a basket in it. So we're gonna see if any grounds come out of this or if any you know problems with it on the first brew. Shouldn't be. Um, and that's what you want out of a coffee unit like this. You want something that just literally just brews coffee and does a good job at doing it. And you can do your K cups and you can do your ground coffee and you can have fun with a little bit of coffee, a little bit of flavor, and it's got the right temperature and all of that, right? That's all we want. 
That's all we ever want out of a good coffee brewer. Um, but a lot of times we can't always get what we want, right? So let's see how long this one takes. It's, it should be two minutes there again. Uh, and this one's brewing right into kind of a little basket of coffee with this Dunkin' Donuts. And we're gonna try that. I'm actually gonna hold this thermometer up to it as it starts brewing so we can kind of get a good idea of what temperature it's gonna come out at as it goes in the cup and not just directly into the cup and measuring it from there. So hang on one more time and let's see what this guy brews at. Okay guys, so like I said, I put in 10 ounces, right? 10 ounces of water. I don't know if it's keeping a little bit more water in the unit, um, but we're almost at 12 ounces here. And you saw, that sounds crazy, right? You're like, well, he put 10 ounces in, 10 ounces should come out. A lot of times these units have a little reservoir that they're kind of using the heat. I don't know how this unit works, but uh, I see 12 ounces of water in here and I've only been putting in 10. So, because there is a line for 12 ounce and I'm not hitting that line at all. So that's so far the biggest con that I have with this unit is the water measurement is not very accurate. What that means in the long term um, is your coffee. If you like coffee to be a really, you know, you put 10 ounces of water in, you know, that's typically if you're really big connoisseur on coffee, you're measuring your, your beans, you're, you're doing all this, right? You're measuring your water. If that's not accurate, then that taste profile will change. How much? Really depends on you and how you like your coffee and how close you want it to be. But unfortunately, I will say this unit is not accurate as far as water coming out. And I just confirmed that uh, with this here. So it's almost, I hate to say it, but almost two ounces off in the water from, so it probably holds about two ounces of water that preheats that might be a trade-off and how it heats a lot, maybe a lot faster with the two minutes. Uh, it almost seemed under in two minutes, like a minute and 30 seconds. I felt like that last time. Um, I didn't get an accurate read, but you know, there again, if you're gonna put coffee in here, you're gonna have to kind of know what flavor you like. And you know, you throw in 10, you're gonna get 12 ounce. The other thing is you put a 10 ounce cup under here, it's gonna overflow. That's gonna drive you nuts. So, or an eight ounce cup you're gonna get 10 ounces possibly. So just know that that's the biggest con I have with this unit so far is it's not accurate as far as the liquid that's coming out into your cup. So, but let's try it. We got about 12 ounces of this Dunkin' Donuts deliciousness. Let's see. Oh, that's very good. Very sweet um, tasting coffee. You didn't know this was gonna be a coffee review, but I'm just gonna review this guy while we have it here. Very sweet, definitely taste strawberry. Don't get a lot of chocolate notes. I'd like to taste that more with that, but um, tastes like strawberry. Um, what else can I say about this? Like I said, it's a great unit as far as the size. Love the colors. Love this adjustment here is really nice. Um, clean, fast brew. Does a brew in under two minutes, which I think is great. Um, and it does a clean brew. There's no grounds in this. Let's open this up. No grounds sitting on top. So, you know, as far as brewing the coffee and, and even with the basket, it's doing a good job. It's doing what it's supposed to. My biggest gripe and concern with this thing, and I'm sure it would be a concern with you, is you put in the amount of water you wanna brew out, it's not very accurate, and that could be the biggest problem with this unit. Well, that wraps it up for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna get this, go to Target uh, and maybe take a look there. Other than that, like, share, and follow this channel. Tell your friends about us, because we're all about the gourmet coffee experience, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for joining me.